today's video, we're gonna be reviewing two belts, um, two tack belts from daraholsters.com. One's one and a half inch version, and the other one is like a two inch version, and they're awesome, so let's get into it. My name's Mike, welcome to the Gun Channel. I had a chance to put them through their paces um, at the range at a daylight shooting for about four hours, and then a four hour session at night. You know, pretty much just trying to drive the belt really hard. Running around, jumping around like a crazy person, changing levels, footwork. You know, really just trying to drive this belt as hard as I could to see just how it works. One's more of an EDC belt or a light range belt, and it's a dual layered nylon belt. It has a really awesome idea to bring to the industry of removing the metal buckle system to make more space for whatever you need. And the other one's a nylon inner outer belt system using that double belt, um, a layered double belt Velcro system. And this belt is perfect for your range belt, your fighting belt, your battle belts, uh, competition belt, and your zombie apocalypse belt. So I was running a 1.5 inch belt, which was really good, but I started packing so much stuff on it. And I'll show you in a video. It's just flying and bouncing all over the place. And I found myself altering my movement and, and sort of to try to compensate for my belt versus what I should be doing. I should be able to drive my body, drive my weapon system, and go where I want to go, how I want to get there. Um, as soon as I got this belt, I loaded it up, got used to the Velcro system of it, and um, did some dry firing drills in the house, and I was like, whoa, this is, man, why did I wait so long to get this? And when I got it out to the range, I felt more secure and more confident, and just overall better feeling of safety. And I could just drive this system without trying to, like normally, in my old belts, I would they'd flop all over the place, and I'd have to try to run around and move in a way that wouldn't upset it too much. And with this belt system, it just locked everything into place and I could just do awesome footwork, jet around, move around, drive my weapon system and mag switches without any problem and they were right where they're supposed to be on my hip every time. Do I recommend this belt? 100% yes. Um, like I said before, I feel like a knucklehead for waiting so long. I got this tech belt from daraholsters.com and they have some really cool bit different packages and stuff if you guys are out there and you're building a um, a weapons belt, whether it be for EDC, competition, duty. Um, this belt is a good starting point. A little bit more detail about the belt, belt and how it feels in the hands. It's um, it's very it's, it's perfect stiffness. The EDC belt. This is the 1.5 inch ver version. Um, it's very stiff, as you would partic um, as you would expect from a nice holster belt or a EDC belt. Uh, but it's not too thick to where you're super, super uncomfortable. So it's a great little system. It doesn't have a traditional buckle there. And by eliminating that, you create so much more space and opportunities to not have to avoid the buckle depending on how you carry your weapon, especially for like appendix carry. Let me do a crotch shot here and, and see if I can sort of show you how it works. I kind of like to do this part first before it will cinch it up and it still slides slides around pretty good. Then I tighten it to the desire and grab the Velcro on the side. And there's no need to put it through that loop if you don't want to. The system's already in place. And yeah, there's no buckle. There's no buckle. You can still put it on the side over here if you want. And then when you have a holster, you can click it on right here and at a glance, it would look just like a buckle. Play some sexy music right now for you. Brown chicken, brown cow. Sweet, so we got the 1.5 inch EDC belt. So uh, you can do your everyday carry, good to go, or some light range duty belt. And this other system, this is awesome. So it'll work a little something like this. These come in three different sizes, They're basically a small, medium, and large. And uh, they have it on the website for you with actual measurements and recommendations for your body size and type. And so what I do with this one, is I found for me it worked best 
if I cinch it up and ran it a little bit tight. A really similar concept to the EDC belt. This is 1.5 inches as well. And you can just overlap that. So we've got the first layer of overlap. And then we've got beast mode here where what I found works best for me if I didn't have the shirt on, probably be a lot easier. But I set, I have my holster set right where I want it and I put it, sort of stick it right about where I want the holster to be. And then I pull the back end around tight and then I make sure that my mag carrier and stuff is approximately where I want it. Release that, overlap, overlap upon overlap upon overlap. And then from here, tie it all together with another Velcro piece. Twist it up. And you have, if you have some sort of leg mount, this weapon is safe, empty, no ammo in the room. And you're good to go. Boom. And as you saw in the video, I'm not going to jump around in this stepping stool that I have on here. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I guess hopefully images will show you that it is an awesome belt. So if you're in the market for an EDC belt or a minimalist uh, range belt, check this one out. And if you're in the market for something a little bit more of an upgrade, then definitely check out the two inch version. That sort of wraps up the initial impressions on this. Um, gosh, you know what? The night shooting class, I forgot to talk about that. The night shooting class was amazing. Man, was I glad I had this belt. I couldn't see shit. I mean, I could see when I was driving the weapon system down range out in front, but as soon as I'm used to coming back and checking the condition of my weapon, see if I'm loaded, uh, just sort of getting that visual confirmation where everything is, you couldn't do it. So this belt locked everything into place and I just could go down and it was at the same spot every time. Yeah, I've got a night class video coming out soon, some footwork drills. I'm also um, in the process of reviewing another holster from Dara Holsters. Also coming up soon is the uh, review on the Holosun 3X magnifier. And with that, optic systems, how far can you actually shoot a nine millimeter on a long range? Suppressor review, threaded barrel review, all kinds of cool stuff. So please keep coming back if you enjoy this kind of stuff and you know, I appreciate you. Thanks for supporting the channel. I don't know if darholsters.com gave me a, a discount link. If, if they did, I'll put it in the descriptions below. If you want to support the channel, of course, go to darholsters.com and check that out. Um, we have a Patreon page and that'll be in the links below. And if you haven't followed us on Facebook or Instagram, we're at MVP2A. And yeah, my name is Mike. You're at the Gun Channel. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you soon.